Hey guys, this is Austin, and today we're here to find out how a one pound laptop compares to a 20 pound laptop. So with our tiny laptop, we have the GPD Pocket. Now you may have recently seen that we did a video on this guy, and this is one of the world's smallest laptops. However, thanks to our good buddy Lamar Wilson, we have something that's just a little bit bigger. All right, so this is the Acer Predator 21X. This thing is a beast. The box, the whole oh, yeah. thing was like 75 so, pounds. This whole laptop, literally, this is the box for the laptop. It's a full Pelican <laughs> case. Also, can we just give a shout out to how ridiculous this looks right now? Tiny, big, <laughs> big, we, we to tiny, say, but kind of buff. I'm not compensating. Yeah. What are you talking about? This is this is what I I, I, I I do this. I just, every day, I'm just like, one. Well, that's... And see, when, when you raise that too high, that's why your muscle busted right there. For real though, this is 20 pounds. That is ridiculously heavy. And this like, is one pound. <laughs> that's can, like, can you do this? No, you don't want me to do that. I will no, break your no, laptop. No, I will hurt you. So with the GPD Pocket, we're rocking a seven inch display versus a curved 21 inch display on the Predator. But what's interesting is, they're actually almost the same screen resolution. This is 2560 by no 280, way. but this is 1920 by 1200. So this seven inch laptop actually is a taller vertical screen than this guy as far as resolution goes. All right, so it wins. This obviously, it, it's scaled down. It's meant for something that's gonna be a little bit more portable, right? So right. you're gonna take this guy, you're gonna throw it in a pocket or a purse or something. It's gonna be a much more, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, yes. just, I'm just saying. Yes, on Friday nights when I wear my purse. <laughs> Whereas this guy, I mean, come on, it comes in a Pelican case. You're not gonna take this anywhere, right? Like. It almost kind of begs the question, and of course, I don't want to spoil the entire video right now, but like, who buys this when you can just buy a desktop? But it does give you some portability. Somebody who has a really big lap. All right, on second thought. What, you have a problem with your, the size of your laptop right now? So inside the Predator 21X, we have a quad-core overclocked Core i7 processor, 64 gigabytes of memory, a pair of 512 gig SSDs, a one terabyte hard drive, and to top it all off, two full GTX 1080 graphics cards. What do two. you have in there? Um, I have, I have memory too. I have eight, eight gigs of RAM. Okay, okay. I have an Atom processor that it, it runs stuff. <laughs> uh, it has excellent graphical uh, card, 180, not 1080 card. These are both Windows 10 computers, by the way. These are both laptops. They're essentially the same thing if you squint really hard. Can this one run Crisis? Okay, so this has very much of a chiclet type keyboard, so. You can type in it. Now, what about your keyboard okay. compared to this? This obviously is where a bigger laptop really shines, right? Yes. So not only do we have a full-size keyboard here, and one of the cool things is, if you don't want the trackpad, you can actually take it out Whoa. and flip it right over to a number pad. What I really like about this, though, is it has a full mechanical keyboard with cherry switches. It really does feel exactly like what you would get with a normal sort of like mechanical keyboard for mm. a desktop. You're really not losing anything besides a mouse, obviously, but you're really pretty much getting the same sort of experience that you would get with a desktop here. So at least my power cable is this size. I just plug it right in and plug it in, plug it in. One okay. cord fair. only. That's fair. What um, you got over there? The Predator has, um, well, it's, it's a revolutionary design of two, <laughs> Sorry. two power supplies. <laughs> <laughs> two full power supplies with two cables going into the laptop. Oh. Because you know, when we've got GTX 1080s, <laughs> we gotta make sure that we have all of the power. Okay, you went on this. I, I'll yeah. give you this one. Okay, you got the specs, I get the portability. So as a big, giant, expensive, and very, very large laptop, this guy is a bit of a gaming PC, but yes. we should keep things fair because this might not have quite the same power of the quad-core i7 with GTX 1080s. Right. So what are you thinking? Let's do CSGO. Let's do a game that will work on both. CSGO and see how they on this? No way. The problem with the Pocket is that there's no touchpad, there's no trackpad, which normally is not a big deal because you can use the touchscreen. Oh God. But with this, you have to use the little nub unless you have a mouse. Try to walk around, try to do anything with that. I don't want to go any closer because then I got it. Okay, this is, this is really horrible. Oh! Okay, you know what, what happened was um, the mouse got a little hot. And to be fair, you can plug a mouse into either of these. So that's not really totally fair to make fun of. Okay. The difference is this guy's basically the size of a mouse, whereas you wouldn't even notice a mouse in your bag with this guy. It, it did work and I was actually gaming. Yeah. I was surprised. I didn't even think it was gonna load up CSGO. So. Now, it's my turn. I've got a solid 137 frames per second right now. See, look at that. You're a pro. Look at, you're a pro. Okay, you know what? But, hey, you, you died in glorious uh, 2560 by 1080. It's, you know what? What more could you ever ask for out of life? So with a laptop this big, not only do we have four speakers, but it also has two subwoofers. So it's, obviously- it's, Excuse me? Yeah, two subs in the laptop. 
this so, is overkill. But this, the whole thing is overkill, right? Like that's the yeah. point, right? No one buys a laptop with two giant power supplies for something practical to take with you every day, right? This is overkill in every possible way, and that's what makes it cool. So would you rather have the 20 pound, $9,000 laptop or the $500, one pound laptop? Gotta go with the $9,000 one as long as I get it for free because my brother can't afford that. That's, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah. I actually do kind of like how small this is, but let us know which one you guys would pick in the comments. And if you want more on the Predator, Lamar and I did a great unboxing over on his channel where you can see the giant Pelican case and all the craziness that goes along with it. So definitely be sure to go check that out and we will catch you in the next one.